Hello, my name is Anjali and I'm a consultant dermatologist. In this video, I will discuss how your DNA and hormones play a significant role in determining whether or not you'll have acne prone skin. As you may have seen in our What is Acne video on the Acne Types page, acne is primarily caused by sticky dead skin cells from the lining of a hair follicle clumping together due to an overproduction of keratin by your skin. These clumps may then mix with the oil being produced by the follicle sebaceous gland and form a blockage. Bacteria can then grow in the blockage and lead to inflamed acne. The overproduction of keratin by your skin cells plays a significant role in the formation of acne, as does the amount of oil produced by your sebaceous glands. Your DNA is at the core of controlling how much keratin your skin produces and how large and productive your sebaceous glands are. This is why acne often runs in families. Another way in which your DNA can affect your chances of developing acne is through the way in which it controls your hormones, which are chemical substances produced by your body to help it develop and maintain itself. Testosterone and dihydrotestosterone, or DHT for short, are male sex hormones, which are also present in women. These are two hormones that contribute to acne. They leave the blood and bind with hormone receptors in the skin where they enlarge the sebaceous gland and increase the amount of oil that it produces, which can result in more dead skin cells sticking together and forming more follicle blockages. Again, your DNA is largely responsible for controlling the hormone balance within your body. The higher your ratio of testosterone and DHT compared to the other hormones, the more likely it is that your skin will produce more oil, resulting in the potential for more blockages. On this page, you will find more information on how your DNA and hormones can affect the development of acne.